Hi everyone. Hi, so, wow. That's so good. Is that mummy's one? Yeah. Thank you. Um, this week's vlog is going to be two days worth because this week has just been completely manic. Um, we, out of nowhere, so we, out of nowhere, we decided to get the house valued. Not out of nowhere, we kind of wanted to know how much more to spend on the house. And before we did that, we wanted to get it valued just to see if it was where we thought it was. So the things that need to be done, we have to have, um, we have to put some wood, we don't have to. We want to put some wood down the side of the house just to make it look neater when you're looking at it and out in the garden as well. But that all costs like over a thousand pound to get that done. Um, so before we decide on that, we thought we would get it valued. Um, we then are also considering putting new wooden floor down in the hallway and put, putting that through to the living room. That will also be quite a bit of money. And then the doorway needs to be redone, this bit here. So the front door was put in incorrect and it had to be um, hacked away at and put in properly. So this just needs to be tidied up around the door. So there's a few things left to do to the house, but we wanted to get it valued. And we did on Friday, so it's Monday today, and we got it valued on Friday and we are ready to put it on the market, we think. We're so pleased with what they said and we just feel like we're not ready, but we found, we've also found another house. Um, so oh, I'm getting away with myself. So we've decided we're gonna put it up for around 525, 550. Um, we're still undecided on what we're gonna do, but um, we've seen a house in the meantime that we both really love and it's in a great location. Um, we had no intentions of get, finishing the house this quickly and moving so quickly, but we, it was always in the back of our mind that we had to be, well, Adam. Adam's just decided to hoover the garden, not hoover, but use his leaf blower to do the garden. Look, look at him with his bloody leaf blower. Look at that contraption. It sucks them up though as well, which I was pretty imp impressed by. So I'll carry on talking to you once he's finished that. And he's finished. Have you finished? Have you finished now? Oh, you were. Yeah, you were. Um, so we had no intention um, on doing everything this quickly, but it was always in the back of our minds for to be in a different a different town for the schools for Pollyanna, the catchment. So um, at the moment, the, the two schools that we would want her to go to, the two primary schools, we don't fall into that catchment. So we always knew we wanted to get to um, Broadstairs, which is the next town to us. Um, so that's always been in the back of our mind and why not sooner rather than later? It seems a shame that we're not going to get to really enjoy this house if it sells straight away. Um, but at the same time, this was never going to be our forever home. It was always just, we were working with what we had at the time. Um, okay. So if you are interested in the home videos, I have a whole playlist from the start when we, before we moved in to the very end. I've also done a home Q and A after one of my tweets of the house went viral. I done a, a Q and A on that. Um, so yeah, so we have someone provisionally booked to come next week to do photos. And then we go away on the 16th and we could be on holiday and we could get a phone call and they could say your house Someone's put an offer in on your house. And we'll be like, yay! Um, and then we can put an offer in, in the house that we want. But um, it's, it's crazy. We Yeah, it's just so crazy how quickly this is all happening. Um, I think Adam's a little bit, yeah, he's like stressing a little bit because I'm going around making notes of like everything that needs to be done and finished. And we need this and we need that and this needs to be Mommy. done. And, yeah, it's just hard because I think when people are coming around, I'm such a particular person. I want it to look as good as it can be, um, to give it its full potential. 
I will share with you lots of things that I'm, we're going to be changing and doing to the house before we put it up for sale properly. But I think while we're away, we're going to let the estate agents do the viewings. Um, I will probably get my sister to come in and like open all the bifolding doors and the windows because it just gives it that extra like wow factor when you come in the door. So I'll get her to come around before, open up everything, and then the estate agent will come around and show people around. Um, that kind of suits me perfectly as well because wouldn't have to worry about the house being tidy all the time. It's so hard to keep the house spotless. So that was another reason why I haven't vlogged this week. I spent practically every day last week cleaning and tidying and making sure it was all perfect for the guy to come around on Friday to value the house. Um, so yeah, that's been done. And then on Father's Day, on the Sunday, Pollyanna fell and bumped her head on the table and right above her eyebrow, a huge, well, it was huge at the time, it seemed to me. Um, she cut her head and we had to take her to hospital and she needed seven butterfly stitches but she was the bravest little girl ever. Even when they glued it together, she didn't even make a sound. She was so brave. I was the one that was like in shock. I feel like there's been so much to tell you in the intro of this video, but um, stick with it. I will, I've got lots of deliveries coming today as well, which I will share with you. And I'm just gonna take you around the house and show you bits that I wanna do to, to the house before it gets sold, um, before it goes on the market even. And um, yeah, it's, it's mainly like furnishing, like we need new bed sheets, we need new bed covers and pillows for the bed so that it looks presentable and looks great. I've, I just keep putting these things off because part of me doesn't know what I want and then I don't want to get something for the sake of it, but now we have to get something. So I'm going to do, be doing a lot of pinning and on my Pinterest boards and just getting lots of inspo really. I've managed to finally clear away all the baby bits that was here which you would have saw in last week's video. And my Amara chopping boards and cheese boards have gone here very nicely and rusticy. So when we go to France, I didn't say that that was where we're going. So yeah, I wanna pick up a nice rustic one from France as well. There's just so much to talk about. We're going on holiday. Okay, Pollyanna went to the hospital. Um, yeah, so we are going to France on so on the 16th of July, we are driving to Spain and then driving to France. We luckily both have family in both countries, so we won't be staying in hotels and we won't be flying to avoid the risk of being in contact with other people. But we're very excited to be getting away. Very, very excited. So that's loads of planning needs to be done for that as well. We need to do lots of shopping um, and just... Yeah, so literally within the space of two weeks, we're thinking of things for the house and then thinking of things for holiday and then we're not going to be here. So, crazy times. But I feel like we always are rushing at everything we do. We're just, every, our life is like a rush. Mainly mine, not Adam's. I just made Adam's life a rush. So yeah, that's where we're going. So uh, I've ordered some holiday bits as well for Pollyanna. So they might come in today's vlog as well, which I'll be able to show you. Alfie is having his morning nap and Pollyanna is playing nicely with her Play-Doh. Pollyanna, can we see your ouchie? Yeah, it's getting better, isn't it? Yeah. Can you, can you tell everybody what happened? I hurt my head. Yeah. And it was bleeding, wasn't it? And where yeah. did, where did we take you? Doctor. Yeah, and what did they do? Put plaster on me. Yeah, they did put plaster on you. They put butterfly stitches, that's what it's called. She shone a torch, didn't she, in your eye? Do you remember that? And oh, mummies. And mummies, yeah. And you were so brave, wasn't you? Yeah. Yeah, last night when Pollyanna got into bed with us in the night, she woke up about half twelve. She said, Mummy, you're my best friend. Do you remember Pollyanna? Am I your best friend? Yeah, and it rained. And it rained, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're my best friend too. I do. I wish you can. I love you too. That one now? You can do the red one now? Yeah. Mm. Dad. Boom. Daddy, boom, boom, boom. play on me, please. Adam? Play with me. Play with me. Play with me. 
Bioderma goodies have arrived. Ooh, so I love Bioderma um, sun cream because it's the only sun cream I've found that doesn't make white clothing go yellow. So what one's this? This is soothing, repair, very high in UV, repairs damaged skin exposed to the sun. So that's very good to have. This is the kids one, which we use every single summer. It's in a spray, but we love this one. And I think it's waterproof space, which very high protection, delicate skin. And then they've also sent one for me and Adam. Yep, so we use this one as well every single summer. It smells lovely and it really glides on nicely as well. And then what's this one? Oh, it's another delivery. And this is some ultra nourishing cream, normal to dry sensitive skin, repairs, soothes and protects. So just some little cream. I don't know if this one is for children. They, the Bioderma products have this little symbol, so that's for the whole family, that means. If it's got a push chair, it's just babies, and then obviously adults, but yeah, that one means it's for the whole family. And then, what's in this one? I think we've got some of this upstairs already. This is the gel mousse. Oh, Pollyanna, some bubble bath. Yeah, I want to it. Mild cleansing foam and gel. Babies, children, face, body and hair does not sting the eyes. <gasps> That's good then, isn't it? It won't sting your eyes when it goes in your eyes when we wash your hair. Yeah. Yeah, we need to wash your hair. It's not been washed for a week, is it? Because of the stitches. Yeah, the penguin's on it. Yeah. And the penguin's washing his hair with it. And the penguin isn't crying. No. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so there's some great goodies. Thank you so much, Bioderma, for these because we always use the product. These two are our most used for sure. And we've got the gel that which we put on Alfie when he gets out of the bath, and we normally have bubble bath. And I've used the creams um, since they were babies, and they're just so so great. No. So we have got Mama Josie in painting the rooms in the house so that it's all nice and white and bright. So we have a few, just a few parcels to unbox with you. Um, I'm out of breath from walking up the stairs. So Mum has been here today painting the rooms and skirting boards for me. She is literally such a lifesaver. Before the kids I always done the painting myself I kind of really really love painting but I obviously get it from my mum but obviously it's so hard because I would have to do it at night time and you just can't see as clear at night time and it's just effort everything with children is like 10 times harder so I've got some deliveries some are for me and some are for Pollyanna so first up I made a top shop delivery I can't even remember, it was a late night order. I couldn't sleep and I ended up on Topshop ASOS River Island and brought lots of bits and I can't even remember what the bits are now. So, oh yeah, this one, this one was on sale. Oh, this is really nice. Oh, very pretty, I didn't even realize the back. I'm terrible as well, sometimes I just look at the first photo and buy it and then, but this is really lovely, so this is like, um. A really pale blush v-neck dress with frills at the front it's quite puffy it's mid-length and the back detail is so pretty it has a bow black back bow tie back and that one was on sale now if he's escaping and then another one it's just a little blouse that I got I'm not sure I don't know could be nice yeah who would be nice with jeans this kind of gingham ruffle top i'm not sure i'm gonna have to try this one on with a few outfits it's cuffed at the hem 
it's a bit sheer and the back has a small little opening here but it's pretty I think I got this because Pollyanna I ordered Pollyanna something in blue gingham and I think I got that so that we could match I never treat myself this month this much but this month I've got myself a new Apple Mac a new iPhone some designer sunglasses um, what else did I get? I got myself a new camera lens and I think just being cooped up in the house has just made me gone crazy for spending money. So I'm really excited to see these. Now, they're, I can't remember what the brand were, but I saw them on the Fashion Bug blog. The Fashion Bug? She is a Instagrammer who also has two little girls. No, she has three little girls. And these she had on, I think last year. And they've just been in my wish list for such a long time. Um, Alia, that's it. Alia Paris, they're very nice. And they're about £300 on net a but I found them online a little bit cheaper. I think they were £200. Um, but it said that the lenses were grey. But I got them on the whim that they're not. So the case is very flat packed. Opens up like this very nice and smart and it comes with some dusters I will link to the website because I've actually brought a pair for Adam on there as well for his birthday and they normally are about 50% off I think I paid yeah it was like £195 for them and they came really really quickly oh these are nice they're really similar to my Celine ones but they're just extra they're so extra here they are and they are black, they're not grey lenses. My face goes so serious when I try something on. So, because when I'm on holiday, I wear my hair up quite a lot. Obviously, picture like blonde roots, not brown. I really love them. They're just really bougie, a little bit bougie. I look like a little bit of a bug, but I think I like them. I'm going to have to wait till I'm looking a little bit more dressed up, but... um. Yeah, they're nice. They don't feel as sturdy as my Celine ones, to be honest, for the price of them. They feel a little bit flimsy, like these could break. My Celine ones are quite hard wearing. They've lasted me years. What do you think? Let me know if you like them. I think you have to, yeah, I think I need like makeup on. I need to feel good to see what they like in them. But I think I like them. So they don't have any branding on them, which I like in sunglasses. So I will try them on again, but I think they're a keeper. Perfect for our holiday. Perfect, perfect. I've had my eye on them for so long as well. I have, I did not just go and like buy any, I like, yeah. I've lusted over them for a little while. And then we have an ASOS package which I shared on Insta stories. They had 20% off their sale and extra 20% off their sale items. So I ordered quite a few things. Well, actually, I don't think I, I thought I ordered only three things, but the box seems to be bigger than three things. Yeah, I can't remember what I ordered. Put, there's a shoe box in here, but I don't remember. Oh yeah, I did order shoes, yeah. So I, le I left some swipe up links on my Instagram. So. If you're not a follower of my Instagram, I always do like swipe up links when I'm shopping and when I find things that I like. I also have a shop page on my website, petitesideofstar.com, and I add to that all the time. So if ever you're in need for inspiration to wear for summertime, you can just head over there. I've got children's home and fashion, and I just update it constantly because obviously it's my job to like constantly be on these websites and look in. So if your style is similar to mine, then I suggest that could hopefully make your shopping online a little bit easier. Um, so yeah, these were new look and I think I ended up paying £4.95 for these. And these are the Hermes dupes. I have a pair that I got from Next and I think they're almost two years old and I have worn them to death. I've worn them so much, the front have like started to lip a little bit. So I got these ones and they are going to do the job for this summer. They're a lighter brown. They have the white stitch outside, just like the Hermes ones. Um, and they're vegan, for those that care. But, um, yeah, for £5, five pound, you just cannot go wrong. Hello, baby. Alfie's trying to weigh himself on the scales. And then this headband. 
was I think £2.50. Maybe even less than that. I think it was £3 plus 20% off. Yeah, this is pretty. In summer, with pretty little white dresses on holiday, when your hair's looking pretty bad and it's all tied up. Very pretty. Can you see that one? It's like a crushed velvet pink headband. Um, something you just, you can't go wrong really for a couple of pound bargain. And then the next thing I'm a little unsure of, it's something I'm going to have to try on, but this was also 20% off the sale price. It's this swimsuit and it has a really big cut out back. So it literally ties around your neck and then all the way above your bottom is uh, the cut out. So it's really quite revealing on the back, which I like because sometimes I like to cover my belly and then my back can be on show because I think swimwear, you don't want to feel frumpy sometimes. So it's nice to have something that's still quite, sed not seductive, but like flattering. Um, and yeah, so that was that. And I loved the print. This is, this is kind of the style I'm going for with the house at the moment. Oh yeah, Alfie, you're playing with my headband. And then the next ones I'm not too sure about. I kind of got them because they were so cheap. I think they were £11 or £9. Do you like that one? Pretty. Matches your top as well. So these, yeah, I don't know about these. I think. What size are they? They look massive. It's, oh, it is a four. There are four. But these kind of... Um, 70s style they're really fluffy i wasn't expecting them but i like to wear platforms when we go out Hang on a minute, baby. i like to wear this style of shoe if we're going for lunches in the daytime or like birthday meals with friends and you know that it's going to go on more than lunchtime um you're kind of going to go on in hang on baby i've done that one already you're kind of going to go on into the evening so these are still quite something that I would wear from day to night and comfy as well. I'll probably keep them just because they are so so cheap, but I think they're quite cool. They're really like 60s inspired, which I really like. I don't think Adam's going to like them. Mummy. Adam? It's for you. It's not a bike. <laughs> no. We have to open it. I didn't bring any scissors with me. No. Are you going to help me open it? Yeah. So if you watched last week's vlog, we ordered some, we were given a gift voucher for Mimi Jo, um, but everything I ordered for Pollyanna was too small. Hey, so she's 20, hey. how old are you, 20? She's two years and five months. So she's not two years anymore um, in clothing sizes. She's more two, um, she's more three years. So it's been really quite difficult to shop for her because things are either a little bit too big or just too small. She's kind of in between everything. So we reordered and this is what she got. Right, take, that's it. That's a little sticker, so you've got to undo the sticker. Wow, pink ones. We got you pink ones because the other ones were too small, weren't they? Do you want to try them on? Hang on, wait. Do you want to try these ones on first? Yeah. So we got her a pair of easy peasy. Hang on, let's try these on. But these are actually the junior ones. So I do think they come up small. Can you just pop these on, see if they... Oh, they... Yeah, the junior ones are so much better if you're getting any... If you're getting easy peasy sunglasses. <gasps> yes, look at that. Look in the mirror. Ah, <laughs> you look cool. They are beautiful. They're a really like acetate pink really i think that's the word like acetate um yeah they're so nice i'm really glad we changed them i was really unsure whether she just had a big head or not but... yep so next we have a pair of stella mccartney sunglasses they've come in this really lovely little zip up case Give that one. Oh, they're cool. Look, in, look at the camera. Show the camera. They're really cool. Here. Yeah. No, show the camera, no? 
Okay, hang on, wait one minute, wait one minute, let me show. So these ones were the Stella McCartney ones. Do you not want to put them on, Pollyanna? No. <gasps> they're really cute, aren't they? <laughs> oh, they're really cute. They were on sale, them ones. I'll link to everything down below. And a Polo Ralph Lauren striped jumper, which I thought would be perfect for evenings on holiday and also traveling in and Alfie has one very similar so I thought they would be matching together I didn't know what size to get her in this it was either three years or four years but I've gone for three and I think that's perfect I think the four it would have looked too baggy on her um, but I love the anchored on it on it and I love like the beach vibes very much us oh wow Pollyanna come and show me that isn't it beautiful yeah what was it Pink. Pink one for holiday. Um, yeah. This is a Stella McCartney one again. And yeah, really but beautiful. Yeah. This was on sale yeah. as well. They've my got a huge sale on at the moment for their summer stuff. Hi, this is my cute. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. Is that for holiday as well? Yeah. Very nice. But this yeah. Oh, no, that one's for you. Me? Yeah. This one's got like bell sleeves and I think it's going to be quite long. Oh, it comes with a little petticoat as well. Mummy's got them as well, yeah, so we could match. No, this one's, these, these are all for you, darling. So that was that and I, yeah, I really like that. I think that'll look, can I hold this up against you? Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. Let me hold this up against you. Yeah, I think that's okay. That was three years as well. Mimi Jo wow. Paris have, um, they're like a boutique for children's wear clothing and they stock a huge amount of children's wear brands um, from High Street almost to Luxury. They have like Dol Dolce and Gabbana, they have Stella McCartney, um, lots and lots of different brands, but also those kind of Spanish brands that you can't really get anywhere. So that's why I love it. So these are little shorties but they flare out a little bit so they'll look really cute on the leg like with sandals and a lovely little shirt for on holiday and then i got her these trousers because i actually got myself a pair of these when we were in spain last year so i thought we could both wear them on holiday and be matching and they they are mayoral as well and then a little cute gingham and blue top which has tie straps I thought that was just wow. really lovely and that is Belle Enfant, Belle, Belle Enfant, I think that's, I think it's like a French brand. And then I lastly, I love you too, just a, I love, too. I love you, a plain little t-shirt, um, which is pink, and then just a plain little t-shirt, striped t-shirt, which was in the sale, and that is Absorber. Oh, I'm so sorry, these hauls are just a little bit of a nightmare. <laughs> I can't control them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whose birthday is it? Mummy birthday. Oh wow, thank you. Happy birthday. Um, so that was what I got and I'll probably leave the haul there. I don't think I'm going to get a chance to try them on because I'm not going to. So maybe come back in next week's vlog or head over to Instagram where I will feature it on Instagram on a, with a swipe Where up link. You hurt, my toe. you hurt your toe. Oh baby, your, your toes, you're just always tripping over them, aren't you? My baby toe. So, my very lucky girl, Pollyanna. All them things that you got from Mimi Jo, aren't you? <laughs> a tear. Say hi, I'm Pollyanna Whitworth. No, I'm not Whitworth. Huh? You're Pollyanna though. <laughs> your hair's in your face. Do you want me to do it? Who's there? Huh? Who's at the door? Yeah. Add. 
blue. It's blue. Blue probably doesn't know it's you because you've got your sunglasses on. <laughs> they look so good, Pollyanna. You look like a little rock star. Your sister looks like a little rock star out there. Have you bumped your heads? Oh, baby boy. Look at all this mess Mummy's got to clean up now. I see. <laughs> you can see? Yeah, I feel. That's it. And when you're finished with them, yeah. you have to put them back in their pencil case, in their sunglasses case, yeah? Yeah. You've got to look after them, don't you? It is almost 8 o'clock now, and kids are in bed, and um, so we've had, the whole house has been painted today, almost the whole house, and some of the skirting boards have been done. I've wrote my list, and honestly, when I tell you it's long, it's a whole page long of things that we need to get done by next Wednesday if we want photos to be done. So yeah, I guess it's just kind of hit. We're literally gonna be going 100 miles an hour to get things done. Um, but they're all things that we're gonna have to be get done anyway. We've just been putting them off, like, so now they're gonna be getting done. So that is probably what next month, next week's vlog will be. It'll be us finishing bits off on the house and then the guy coming around to do photos so it should all be very interesting um i have just got my new iphone i went for the 11 pro max um so i'm so excited to get this out because i've had i don't even know what iphone i've got um iphone 7 maybe i don't know i don't even know what one it is um but it hasn't got the three cameras, so I'm very excited to use that. I'm really sorry that this vlog hasn't been very entertaining. Um, and I also, I'm, I, I'm fully aware of how like erratic it is because I feel like when I'm doing things around the kids, I'm really rushing because I want to finish it quickly before I get interrupted or something happens and then I can't do it. So I'm really, really sorry for that if it feels like you're watching a very erratic person. Um, but <laughs> it's just nice to also document these things and the house has been such a huge part of um, things that have been going on lately. So I thought I would just update everyone that we have had the house valued and it is going to be going on the market. Um, yeah, it's all very exciting. I just can't quite believe it. So within like three weeks, not only are we planning for a wedding, selling a house, or trying to sell a house, hopefully putting an offer in on a new house and then going on holiday. Um, it's gonna be a crazy few weeks to say the least. Um, who knows though, it might go on the market and it might not sell and we might, yeah, it just might be a really, really long-winded process, but part of me thinks it's not gonna go that way. I don't know why. I, yeah, I just think it's gonna be very hectic, I think, but we will see. Time will tell. What's meant to be will be, and yeah, I will keep you all posted. I obviously am updating my stories every day on little things that we're getting done. Um, I also have my home account, for those of you who don't follow that. Um, and obviously my personal one as well. Um, but yeah, I will probably end the vlog here because we haven't got much to do this evening, apart from that long list. But um, I've got to edit this vlog now, get it up before um, we go to bed and it will just be chilling, we're watching bad blood at the moment and it's quite good but it's one that you've really got to watch you can't kind of be on your phone scrolling so gonna do that i am still using my journal one day at a time and i like to get, when i get into bed i write down in that um my things to do the next day and it just really keeps my when I wake up, I think when you work from home and even if you don't work from home, but if you're a full-time mum, it just gives you an aim for the day. And I'm really, I really realise that I'm that kind of person. I need an aim. I need something to aim for throughout the day. I can't just wake up and be like, oh, what am I gonna do today? Um, yeah, that's how I was for the beginning of lockdown and it just, it drove me crazy. So um, this has really helped with like my mood as well. Like it's really, 
kept me feeling positive and feeling grateful as well. I'm trying not to be so negative about things. I can be quite a negative person, I know. Um, and I'm just trying to try and, trying to see like the positive in things rather than the negatives. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then my, what else have I changed? Oh yeah, that's it, that's it really. That's it, I'm gonna go before I carry on rambling anymore. But if you're not a subscriber yet, please do subscribe and I will see you again on Thursday for my next video. Bye. I'm just setting up this new iPhone and honestly nothing will make you feel as old as trying to understand new technology. I'm 29 and I literally feel like my mum, like I don't know how to do it. So I didn't realise, I'm, so I'm just setting up the face technology now and just, I don't even know what I'm doing. Am I meant to follow the emoji round? It says, position your face in the camera frame. So this is what it looks like. Then move your head in circle, in a circle. Oh, my sister's calling me. Sorry, sis. I'm trying to set up face ID. So I just realized I was on the practice screen for all that time. You have to actually press get started and then do it. Um, so that was fun. I couldn't imagine my mum or anyone else doing something like that. They, you don't even get instructions with it on like what to do. And I can't believe I just struggled with that. But I did, so anyway, that's done now. So I just thought I'd fill you in. I found that quite funny.